Okay. <laughs> Reporting live. <laughs> oh no. Simon just hung up. Are you there, Simon? <laughs> <laughs> It was just singing the clear band, so it might have just ended it because we were going so long. All I heard was, reporting la! <laughs> <laughs> it was cut off and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to another Rena K YouTube video. Today I am here, not in person, but in spirit with the one and only Simon Hurley. Hey friends, I'm so excited to be here with Rena and Craft today. It's been a long time since we've gotten to sit down together and craft, and I'm excited today. Well, it actually hasn't been a long time because we filmed this video already, but the footage was lost because of a little company called Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> so, we are doing this now. We're FaceTiming and we're filming the video, so we can't really see what the other person's doing, but we're still together and we have like these 007 AirPods in communicating with each other. We have to say over every time we say something. Over. So I was thinking that my last couple projects that I've done have been pretty simple and I am a fan of simple cards that look like they took a long time to make but they didn't. I've decided that enough is enough and I'm going to make an incredibly difficult card today with die cutting and coloring and wood graining techniques and all of the above. So Simon is also going to make a card of that standard. Yes, I'm going to make the most Jennifer McGuire card I can where it's interactive. I'm gonna make a trifold card. It's gonna take a lot out of me since I'm not good at math or making interactive cards. You open it up, there's a wizard on a hilltop shooting lightning out of it. <laughs> but I'm excited to sit down today and create an intricate card with Rena. Over. Thanks, Simon. I'm gonna be using my latest set called I Like the Way You Roll, and Simon, what set are you gonna be using? I'm gonna be using the Snazzy Snowman stamp set. Nice Christmas card we're making over here. All right, well, without further ado, let's get into this card, shall we, Simon? Yes, we shall. By the way, I'm gonna be looking down a lot in this footage, because Simon's right there, so I have to shift it up. Talk to you guys. All right, so I'm gonna start out. I have a piece of cardstock here, and this is going to be the section that we create the trifold. So I'm gonna go in here and score this at a half an inch, and I'm going to do my stamping and cut out my image on here, and then attach it to the finished card. You'll see as we go. And I'm gonna be using these three sushi pieces, and I'm gonna be die cutting them out and coloring them. And I love that sushi stamp set, how you drew it, where you can make it like a little bit more sophisticated if you want to, or you can make it super fun and playful with the faces. I love this set. I love sushi. Do you like sushi, Simon? I'm allergic to sushi. You're allergic to sushi? Sadly, but surely. I think I'm allergic to most seafoods, um, but I got allergy tested so long ago that I don't really know, but I just never have try tried it. Actually, at a dinner, I accidentally had it because we were out and it was a team dinner and we were getting like a bunch of appetizers and things like that and usually I like don't eat anything unless if I know what's in it but like if I see something that I like think looks safe I'll eat it and so there was there was just queso at the center of our table and I was like you know there's not gonna be anything in queso and um, it turns out after a few bites there was um, lobster in it it was lobster queso and I was very allergic to it so Ew. yeah it was actually quite good but um, just didn't enjoy the lobster queso just not the allergic part I don't really have an allergy I remember like one time for like a couple months I, I always eat cantaloupe I love cantaloupe and for just one period in my life I don't know what it was but I suddenly like broke out in hives every time I ate cantaloupe Open. To this day, if I'm at the doctor with my mom, she'll say, oh, she kind of, they'll ask me if I'm allergic to anything, and she'll go, oh, well, there was that one time with the cantaloupe, and I was like, no more. Rena, we're, we're twins. I'm allergic to cantaloupe, too. You are? <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, but I don't, it, mine's still up for debate. Okay. I'm allergic to cantaloupe and watermelon. Very sad. What's in those things that, why them specifically? Are you allergic to bananas? No, I'm not. That's one thing I'm not allergic to. Interesting, because bananas make me itchy. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the funniest way to say it. All right, so I'm going to go into this section, because this is going to be my background, and I'm going to do some ink blending here. So I'm, I'll take some masking tape and mask off this section for my ink blending, and then I'm going to make it look like a nighttime sky. Are you loving the daylight savings time, Simon? Oh, it's so fun. No, I, I um, <laughs> you know, now that I'm out of school, I don't even, like, know what day it is, what time it is, and so it really hasn't affected me too much, uh, but I did get a nice good sleep that night. Um, I don't like that it gets so dark so early. Yeah, I come to school and the sun's still rising and then I'm leaving school and it's setting and I'm just like, how? 
<laughs> How have I been inside all day? Because I don't even notice the daytime. Yeah, it's kind of sad. I kind of miss when it was really super bright out. Mm -hmm. It hasn't really hit yet that this is how life's going to be for for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of excited for winter though. I gotta be honest. Winter's like, the vibes during winter are just... Christmas vibes are immaculate. Oh, immaculate. I was literally about to say that, Simon. We know each other. You can tell we watch way too much TikTok. Absolutely. <laughs> immaculate vibes. And I just stamped two chopsticks because we're going to need to cut those out. And I think that's all I need from stamps. So I'm going to be using colored pencils and Gamsol. Should I cut them first or should I color them first? I think you should color them first. Otherwise you're going to be like holding on to this tiny little image <laughs> as you're coloring. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. I already have nails so I'm already at a disadvantage. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit of water in my spray bottle and I've added some perfect pearls to this um, and I'm going to spray it down like water so it's gonna react here but it's also gonna leave a little bit of like sparkle and shine from the perfect pearls, which I really like for the winter sky look. And I'm just outlining around these little divots in the shrimp and then I'm gonna just blend them out with the gamsol. I don't know if that's actually how the anatomy of sushi goes or shrimp goes, but whatever. All right, and then I'm going to go into here and grab my frostbite stencil, and then I'm going to stencil over top and create a darker color on top so that it'll be like a tone on tone look. I really just had a voice crack there, but I think we're just gonna have to leave it in because I don't feel like redoing it. I know I have to have a blender in here. What happened to this one? This one got pink all over it. Looks like we're using this one. All right, so I'm just going over top. I love doing this to get that cool like tone on tone look. Um, so if you blend a little bit lighter at first and then you go on top with another layer, you get a much heavier inking and it creates this stunning effect. So Simon, over. Have you been following any specific rabbit holes lately? I know you're on TikTok. So have you been like, has there been anything you've been watching a little more than normal lately? On, okay, so TikTok, of course, that has just taken over our lives, especially at the beginning of quarantine when there was nothing to do. We would just sit on TikTok for hours and hours and hours each day. You know, when when you keep scrolling on TikTok, they have like a, you need to go to sleep sign. And we would get that like five times each night. <laughs> just, there was this guy, there was one where he has like his knee, like he like knocks something off a counter, then he puts his leg up and then it zooms in on him and he's like, go to bed. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use this kind of orangey color for this. I'm trying to make salmon. I guess salmon is, well, salmon, the color of salmon would be salmon would be orange, but a lot of people think salmon is orange. All right, so there is my ink blended background. I love how that looks. And then I'm going to fold this over and do my snowman up here and then cut it out so you guys can see that background in the end. Um, as far as rabbit holes though, YouTube leads you down so many rabbit holes because they're recommended videos. And I watch so many like office makeovers, desk makeovers, room Ooh, makeovers, like anything nice. like that is just so, so entertaining. Nice. I love those when they like organize pantries and stuff. I have fallen down a really weird rabbit hole lately and let me explain. <laughs> so I have recently <laughs> discovered the hashtag big fish on TikTok and it's a lot of people pulling these giant fishes out of lakes and oceans and stuff and I don't know why but I get butterflies everywhere. Like I just <laughs> love it so much. <laughs> it's so satisfying. I have never been fishing. Well, I have been fishing one time and the one time I did go, Alicia's bucket hat that she was wearing fell in the lake and it sunk and then she started crying and then we had to leave. So <laughs> I don't think, I don't think it was um, that beneficial of experience. I don't think I'd end up on the hashtag big fish. I feel like you come up across like such weird things on the internet, but it's like just fun to just watch. Cause you know you're not gonna like and be doing And I know nothing it. about it. Like, please tell me about all these big fish. Tell me the bait I need to use for this. You know, I wonder if anybody watches us make cards and not like knowing full well they're not gonna make any cards, but just because they wanna like learn about it. Like you're learning about big fish. So then I'm going to grab this little plaid pattern and I'm gonna stamp his scarf on. So this pattern just fits right inside there. And I'll grab some inks that are kind of matching the ones that we've used. So I'll go in with a little bit of Dame Over and then I'll bring in a little bit of Midnight Snack on the other side so it kind of goes along with the nighttime sky that we created. All right, so I'm just coloring in this snowman and when I'm doing like little 
uh, like white objects like this, like a snowman or something, you want to still give it a little bit of shading. So I'll go in with a little bit of woof, which is my gray color from Simon Hurley Create, and I'm just watering it down a ton so I can go in from one side and still give it a little bit of depth and dimension. And I am using a Copic marker in BV31. It's a pale lavender, and I'm using this just around like the edges of the sushi roll corners just to like... I don't know. I don't even know if I'm doing anything to it. I just <laughs> like how this looks. It fills it a little more. All right, so once I'm done with all my coloring, I'm just going to heat set it quickly so we can cut this out. And then you guys will like, be able to see the card coming together a little bit more. All right, so I'm just fussy cutting, doing one of the most tedious of tasks as Rena's die cutting. We're both doing some tedious cutting out here. Okay, so here are my cut out pieces. They are not perfect, but you know what? We're not redoing them at this point. And now I'm going to create the wood grain part of the card. So I've done this technique on my channel before. This is my wood graining technique that I use the ink cubes with. I'm gonna be using the craft ink cube. And I just use a piece of paper and line up the bottom seams with each other just to make sure the wood grain goes on straight. And then I like to flip it around and line up that streak I just made. I don't like calling it a streak, <laughs> take that back. And I'm gonna leave uh, that colored in part right there. I'm gonna line up the piece of paper with the edge of it. I'm gonna make these seams on here. So I'm gonna outline each plank of wood just to blend in the edges together. And then I'm just going to stamp down my sentiment. I curved it on the acrylic block. That's what you can do with clear stamps. And then I'll stamp it below because it fits a little better there. All right, so here is my card. I'm almost finished with it. But I just love the like trifold, how you can attach it at the bottom there and then make that super cool opening on your card. Um, and then you still have a bunch of room to write your sentiment on the inside. So I just wood grain this and then outlined each part. And um, I'm just cutting this down a little bit so I can fit it on the card. This is gonna be like the little sushi platter that all the pieces are gonna go on. All right, so now I'm going to be assembling the card and I'm just gonna tape this down. Actually, I'm going to be using my foam squares to prop it up so it's like a little raised sushi platter. Yes, okay. So I'm placing these on the little sushi board that I've raised up. This looks a lot better than my other card, low key. All right, and my finishing touch on this card is to use the Gina K Designs Crystalline Drops in Black Diamond, and this is gonna simulate the eel sauce that I get on the side of my sushi. Simon wouldn't know about it. Okay, so this is my finished card. As you can see, it took a lot of extra steps, but I think it turned out really cute, and it actually looks like a little sushi board. Simon, what do you think? I love it. Oh, I like the swirl that you made with the black, too. That's really cool. Oh, thank you. And then here is my finished card. I love it with the little snowman and making that fun trifold background. It's definitely out of my comfort zone to make like interactive cards, but I think it turned out so fun. Well, this is the end of the video. Um, these cards were super fun to make, and Simon, it was super fun to film this video with you again. <laughs> definitely. It was so fun crafting with you too, Rena. I think we have to do it again soon. Yes, soon. we definitely have to do this setup again because it worked really well. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys liked it, remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out Simon's channel because he just came out with a video that we made together, and I really think you guys are going to like those cards that we made. So, thanks again for watching, and thank you, Simon, for being a part of this. Definitely. This was so much fun, and I love crafting with you, Rena, and I think we'll have to do it again soon. Yes. So, thank you guys again. Again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Okay, bye. Awesome. Yes.